Director of the National Security Institute. Jamil, thank you for joining us on this Labor Day. Uh, there are a lot of things unfolding right now. The president, the vice president in the Situation Room today, these negotiations continue, they say. The death of these six hostages murdered by Hamas, including an American citizen, as these negotiations have been underway. And then you see Alexis there walking through New York City with the pro-Palestinian protesters. She spoke with one that says he won't be voting for Harris where he otherwise might have. An enormous amount of things. The election could certainly be impacted by this, uh, but also impacted the people in Gaza, the people in Israel. Your thoughts right now on where things stand clearly, have we gotten any closer with these horrific deaths of these six hostages uh, happening just so recently? Well, Molly, you know, here's what concerns me. You see all these people protesting on one side or the other. The real question is, who's protesting for the seven Americans that remain captive in Gaza in the hands of Hamas? We've now seen uh, one American, Hirsch Goldberg Poland, be killed with a gunshot to the back of the head, like those other six hostages. Remember, Here's what's happening there in Gaza. It's not they're being killed by bombs or being killed in, the, in a firefight. Those hostages, those six hostages, were executed 48 to 72 hours before uh, the Israeli guards found them, Israeli soldiers found them. That's what we're talking about. That's the kind of people we're dealing with. These were six people, five of whom were kidnapped at an outdoor dance a young people's party, and, and so you wonder why are Americans in the streets protesting uh, in favor of Hamas when we have seven American hostages still captive in Gaza? Yeah, once again, Hamas's brutality on full display here, which brings us to the point of these negotiations as they've been ongoing. There has been a, a rather public fight going on in the, in, covered by the media in Israel where cabinet members have been pushing back against Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who spoke today reiterating the importance, what he believes, of this southern quarter of maintaining control of this area where weapons and bombs are smuggled in to continue to supply the Gaza Strip and, and Hamas. What do you make of where the negotiations stand, Netanyahu's position, the pushback he's seeing from some members in his own government, politically speaking, and what should America do with that information? Well, I think one positive thing that we've seen is we've seen a change in the Hamas position of absolutely a complete end to hostilities uh, there in Gaza. They've given up that demand, so we're closer to a deal than I think we ever were. But this question of how to prevent weapons and, and all the military equipment that's been flowing in from Egypt to Gaza is a very serious problem. And so uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu has been fighting to keep control of that Philadelphia corridor. There are clearly disputes within the Israeli government. Yoav Gallant, the defense minister, voted against the policy of keeping them there keeping the soldiers there, uh, in part because there are some Israeli military officials who say you can't stop those tunnels from the surface if they're 150 feet deep. What you really need to do is hold the Egyptians and hold President Sisi accountable. And, of course, we have some significant uh, capability there because we supply Egypt with a significant amount of their support. So we've got to put pressure. Instead of putting pressure on Israel saying stop what's happening in Gaza, we should put pressure on Egypt saying stop allowing weapons to flow into Gaza. That's part of what will get a peace deal done here. Yeah, and you pointed out something very important a moment ago, Jamil, that there are still American hostages being held in Gaza. The father of one of those hostages spoke. This is Jonathan Dekelchen. He's the father of 36-year-old Siggy, who remains in custody of Hamas. Take a listen. The time is over for sort of selling, perpetuating this fantasy of total victory over Hamas um, based on the sacrifice of our sons, daughters, grandparents, uh, who are hostages in, in, in Gaza. You know, we've been at this for 11 months, uh, hearing from our government that, you know, a little more military pressure and a little bit more military pressure is going to cause Hamas to come begging for an agreement and an exchange of our hostages. Clearly, that has not happened. What do you make of Mr. Jekyll Chen's plea there? Well, look, I think he obviously a grieving father concerned about his child who's there um, being held by, uh, by Hamas. But the real question is, what will get to a deal, right? And it does appear that the military pressure on Hamas has caused them to give in on some of their demands, this demand for a permanent end to the fighting uh, before the hostages are handed over. Look, the reality is, Molly, the Israelis are not going to stop fighting until the hostages are returned. That's just the reality of the situation. So the question is, when will Hamas give those hostages up? And, of course, they see the hostages as their only negotiating leverage. 
leverage. So they're going to hold on to them as long as possible. And they've now demonstrated their willingness to kill hostages in cold blood, putting a bullet to their back of their heads as the Israeli soldiers get closer. And that's the real problem. And so the question is, how do we get to that deal? And I don't think the answer is backing off on our support for Israel. It's got to be, we believe that people who are attacked by terrorists have a right of self-defense, and ultimately that pressure on the terrorists, as we've put on al-Qaeda for over two decades now, will be what succeeds in ultimately getting uh, to a solution. Thank you, Jamil Jaffer. We greatly appreciate your insight as this continues to unfold a developing situation. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.